again. It's a red stick. In the previous session, we have already completed the basics of binary number system, which is required to understand this bitwise operator. In this bitwise operator, we have six operators that are bitwise and bitwise or bitwise not, bitwise or bitwise right shift and bitwise left shift. So let's start with bitwise and operator. Here we have table for and operator. So note that we will get one as output if and only if all the operands are one. Otherwise, we will get zero. For example, we want to perform bitwise AND operator on 6 and 8. Now, the operation will be performed on each bits. Here we have 0 and 0. So, the answer will be 0 according to the table. And finally, we will get 0, 0, 0, 0 as the output whose decimal equivalent is 0. So, let me do it practically. So, here I want to apply this bitwise AND operator on 6 and 8. So, we need to write 6 and then we need to give the bitwise AND symbol and then we need to write 8 so now if i press enter so note that it is showing 0 so our next bitwise operator is odd operator and here we have the table for odd operator and here note that we will get 0 as the output if and only if both the operands are 0 otherwise we will get 1 for example if you want to perform bitwise operator or operator on 6 and 8 now the operation will be performed on each bits here we have 0 or 0 so the answer will be 0 according to, according to the table and then we have 1 or 0 so we will get 1 and ultimately we will get 1 1 1 0 so if we write 6 or 8 then we will get 14 as the output so this is the symbol for bitwise or now let me do it so the, it is showing 14 our next bitwise operator is ZOR operator and here we have the table for ZOR operator. So note that we will get 0 as the output if the operands are same. For example, it will give 0 if both the operands are 0 or both the operands are 1. For example, we want to perform bitwise operator on 6 and 8. Now the operation will be performed on each bits. Here we have 0, ZOR 0. So the answer will be 0 according to the table and finally we will get 1, 1, 1, 0 as the output whose decimal equivalent is 14. So let me do it practically. So if I write 6 then ZOR then 8. So this is the symbol for bitwise ZOR operator. And now if I press enter we will find 14 as the output. Now our next operator is bitwise NOT operator or bitwise complement operator. Now this is a unary operator which means this operator operates on one operand. For example, we have 6 and now I want to apply bitwise complement operator. So what will be the answer? First of all, it will convert the decimal number system into binary. Then it will flip all the bits. Now I have told you that the most significant bit is the sign bit and one represent negative binary number. So Python will find it as the negative number. And also I have told you that negative numbers is stored as two's complement form in memory. So Python will think that next 7 bits are in 2's complement form. So it will return the number whose 2's complement is like this. Now we know how to find 2's complement and exactly we need to do the same process to find the number from its 2's complement. So we need to first flip all the bits then we need to add 1 and then convert it into its equivalent decimal number and the most important thing is we need to add 1 minus sign because here note that the most significant bit is 1 which represent that the next 7 bits are representing a negative number. So let me do it practically. So we need to write bitwise complement. So this is the symbol for bitwise complement operator. Then if I write 6, then we will get minus 7 like this. Now you need not to remember all these things because if you have a question like this, then you need to simply add 1 with the number that is 6 here. So if I add 1, then we will get 6 plus 1, that is 7, and then add minus sign. And that will be our answer. For example, here we have bitwise complement 8. So just add 1 with this 8, which will be 9, and then also add minus sign. So our answer will be minus 9, like this. Our next bitwise operator is bitwise right shift. So here we have the number 6, and this is the binary representation of 6. And this line represents that 
write shift this binary representation of 6 by 2 bits. So what will be the answer? So first of all, last 2 bits will be deleted and two new empty blocks will be created at the left side. And then we need to fill these blocks with the sign bits. In our case, the sign bit is 0. So we need to fill these empty blocks with 0 like this way. And then calculate the decimal equivalent. In our case, it will be 1. So let me do it practically. So we need to write 6. Then we need to give the bitwise right shift operator. And then we need to write 2. So the answer will be 1 like this. Our next bitwise operator is bitwise left shift operator. So here we have 6 and this is the binary representation of 6. And this line represents that left shift this number that is 6 by 2 bits. So what will be the answer? So first of all, two blocks from left side will be deleted and two new blocks will be created at the right side like this. And then we need to fill these blocks with 0 and then calculate the equivalent binary number. So in this case, the answer will be 24. So let me do it practically. So let me write 6 and then bitwise left shift and then 2. So this is our answer. So this is the operator precedence. For example, if we have an expression like this, then here note that exponential operator has highest precedence. So Python will calculate first 4 to the power 2 that is 16. And then next powerful operator is multiplication. So Python will calculate 2 multiply 16 that is 32. Then it will perform the subtraction that is 32 minus 1 which will give 31 as the output. You can also verify it. So this is the expression and if I press enter you will find that it will returns 31 as the answer like this. One more important point is if we enclose something within parentheses then python is going to calculate that expression first. For example if I enclose 2 minus 1 within parentheses like this 2 multiplied by 4 then exponential operator then if I enclose 2 minus 1 within parentheses then python is going to calculate this expression first. So it will give 1 and then it is going to calculate 4 to the power 1 that is 4 and then 2 multiply by 4 that is 8. So in this case our answer will be 8 like this. Now comment the answer of these two expressions and if you want to solve daily quiz then join our telegram channel link is in the description.